Okay, this is just a quick video showing my video scalers that I've been using. So this is the first scalar unit I bought. Uh, it's pretty basic. You can make adjustments to the picture here and here. I guess it has uh, an IR sensor if you have a remote, which I don't have. It's an Xtron IN1502. So what it has for inputs is uh, composite in or S video in, and then it turns it into RGB, which uh, I was using to VGA monitor output or LCD screens that have uh, the RGB VGA input. And then uh, I didn't like it because it it didn't handle uh, 240p correctly. It processes it at uh, 480i. So I heard that this one was better. Uh, this one has the same problem that it it will uh, process the 240p signals as 480i so uh, It looks a lot better because it has like a smoothing mode which uh, kind of hides that and deinterlaces a little bit But uh, it still wasn't exactly what I wanted. It has a lot more options. It actually runs a, a Server that you can remote access into because it, it serves like a uh, through your network it's not wireless, it's just through the network. That uh, It's like a website that you can log into uh, just by punching in the IP address, and then you can make adjustments to it. And you can actually switch all the inputs through the, the web page that it's hosting. Uh, I added in a power switch on it because it's like an always on thing. It didn't have a power switch. So what it does is this is uh, composite in, it's got component or RGB. It can do either one, you can set it up. And then it's got S-Video, and then it's got another, uh, it's got a VGA input, a VGA output, and then this is an RGB uh, or component output. So uh, for a while I was using it to uh, take the VGA Dreamcast thing because it wasn't a very good upscaler. I didn't like how it worked. So I was using it just to turn the Dreamcast VGA signal into component. And because uh, it can handle, uh, what it can do is it can take, uh, 480p video and it can like process it pretty well but uh yeah i wasn't really using it for much and eventually i moved on to this which this is like uh this is a gb uh s8220 board these are like 15 uh they're everywhere on ebay i guess they've stopped making them but maybe there's like millions of them in china still because like you could still find them nobody's like hoarding them so what this is, is an Adreno kit that is just wired into it. And it kind of like hijacks what this board is capable of and it reprograms it and it makes it do everything a lot better. So uh, it handles the 480p video just fine. It actually handles, uh, no, it handles 240p fine, 480i, 480p. It, it handles everything great because it's, it's made by a community and they're always updating it. And then it has dual uh, VGA outputs, but one of them, this converter is turning it into HDMI. So it does HDMI, HDMI stuff. Uh, with the Adreno kit, it actually has, it hosts a web server also, and you can uh, remote access into it through the Wi-Fi, and it works like amazing. You can set all the settings. It's also hacked to be in a DVD case. Normally it wouldn't be in any type of case. It would just be a bunch of loose boards. And uh, so this is the VGA in, or you can actually do RGB through there. No component, no S video, uh, or no, no composite, no S video. And then it has component in. So my whole setup's all components. So this is like exactly what I need. And then uh, there's also like, uh, this is like VGA inputs that can you can input. I don't know. I guess you can make an S cart connector. There's a bunch of hobby projects that people are working on this right now. But this is my favorite uh, use for everything upscaler right now. It's the fastest upscaler I think, uh, and it's like a hundred dollars cheaper than the OSSC. And uh, yeah, so I'm not looking to. Up, uh, if there's more project stuff, I'll just keep upgrading this. And I'll do more to it, or maybe I'll buy a second one and keep this one the way it is because it's just so cheap to do it this way. But the drawback is everything has to be RGB or component. You can't get away with uh, 
anything being S video or composite. And I don't really know any work around with that right now. Uh, maybe people are working on it, but uh, not as of me recording this. So that's pretty much it. It was just this one. And then, oh, you know what? I didn't say the model number of this one. This one was uh, an Extron DVS 304. But yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. It's got a lot of options, but it just like, the fact that it didn't handle uh, 240p correctly just was kind of like, eh, well, I'm not going to use it forever. It was just what I needed right then. And it's a little laggy. Like both of these, for as big as they are, I mean, they're worth about 30 bucks a piece, maybe less. But uh, just the fact that they add, they do add a little lag, it kind of makes them, I don't know, just a little shitty. But this this is like one frame of lag. Like it's as low as it can possibly go. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole video. Thank you.